To take care of a cat is to know how to respect the freedom that the cat needs, and also to guarantee it the best conditions for its health. Therefore, we must know what their diet should be to ensure the best nutrition and healthy growth. It is important for you to know that there are foods that cats cannot eat and because they are toxic or harm their weight. It is necessary to be careful not to make these mistakes. After all, we all want happy and healthy pets in our lives. Going straight to the point, I'll explain to you the most dangerous mistakes when feeding your cat. It is very common for an owner to wonder what is the best food for a cat. Is it necessary to give only the ration or vary the options? Inserting natural foods, is it also possible? How to feed different cats. But know that the cat's diet can include different types of food, such as wet or dry food, vegetables, fruits, legumes, and even eggs. You just have to be careful to avoid introducing toxic foods into a feline's diet. Options such as shredded chicken meat, boneless fish, broccoli, and low-fat yogurt work to bring diversity and convince some felines who are having difficulty feeding kibble. Based on this information, support our channel by purchasing a special ebook where we show you the 20 foods, well-selected, to nourish your cat in a highly efficient way, and of course, with a lot of love. The link to this ebook is in the first comment of the video. These recommendations are for adult cats, while the food for kittens should ideally consist of mother's milk. If this is not possible, there are substitute milks and puppy food that serve to circumvent this situation. Now that you have an idea of what you can present to your cat, I'm going to tell you the most dangerous mistakes when feeding your cat first of all. Avoid foods with a lot of salt. Foods for humans should be avoided. It never hurts to remember. In the case of sodium, which is common in our diet through sausages and processed foods, it can accumulate in your feline's kidneys, causing kidney problems. Avoid giving cookies, snacks, and canned foods. Always prefer fresh foods. In second place, never give your cat any milk to drink. It is a very recurrent image in movies and cartoons of the cat that feeds on milk, but cow's milk can be harmful to the feline. This is because the cat cannot properly digest the lactose in milk. In addition, the drink does not have the necessary nutrients for it. Recurrent feeding with milk can cause digestive problems and even hinder the cat from maintaining a healthy weight. So, don't give milk to your pet. In third place, don't give your cat chocolate. It's often said that dogs can't eat chocolate, but some people forget that kittens can't either. The reason is the substance theobramine, derived from cocoa, which is toxic to felines. When consumed, it can cause intestinal problems and pose risks to your partner's life. In addition, human sweets can contain a lot of sugar, which brings problems for weight and can cause feline obesity. Fourth, always know the fruits your cat can't eat. Human beings love grapes, lemons, oranges, and tangerines. They have been present in the diet for many years, but cats cannot consume citrus and grape foods in any way. These fruits can cause kidney problems in your feline. Other fruits such as avocado should also be avoided. Always try to stay informed. In fifth place, cats are not allowed to eat raw meat. Meat is an excellent source of protein for your pet, but remember, it should always be cooked. Raw meats have bacteria that can affect the body. In addition, the meat should not have seasonings or salt, with pork being one to be avoided for its fat. Of course, there are other foods that a pet can't consume, such as garlic or onions. The most important thing is to be aware and prevent your pet from accidentally eating something that is bad for their body. And lastly, subscribe to our channel to get informed and make sure you have a healthy kitten with a lot of energy. Remember to provide an environment for their development and take all measures that allow for all of this, including visits to the vet. Therefore, don't forget to make sure that your cat is always well hydrated, giving water during the day, and their food is applied correctly, and make sure that they are eating the correct amount of food. Why do I attract cats? This is a question that many people ask themselves, both those who like cats and those who don't. If you adore cats, this may come as a surprise to you, 
but there are people who don't like cats and still they are attracted to them just as they try to stay away from cats felines tend to try to stay close to them so if you've come here in search of this answer it's possible that we can help you understand the reason if you've ever observed cats walking on the street in a park or even inside a house you may have noticed that they are more attracted to some people than to others likewise if you have cats at home you've surely noticed that they are more attracted to some visitors than to others have you ever wondered why well there are several reasons why a cat is attracted to a person at first to better understand why a cat is more interested in one person than another you need to understand the logic of a cat and its psyche why do cats prefer some people have you ever wondered why cats tend to chase after the very people who prefer to ignore them? If you have a cat, you may have noticed subtle hints over the years that support this preference of felines. For example, a visitor who is clearly not very interested in cats, finding it difficult to engage in a conversation with you because your cat is circling around them or jumping onto their lap. Or perhaps you've seen someone walking down the street with cats following them everywhere. And instead of bending down to pet them, they prefer to push them away further. So, the reason for this is simple. Cats tend to be interested in people who prefer to ignore them. On the other hand, they tend to ignore people who love and adore them. This may seem shocking, right? But that's exactly how the minds and spirits of cats work. Who attracts cats? Why do I attract cats? It may be due to how you approach a cat. This influences the animal's behavior towards a person. For example, a cat responds lovingly to a stranger when it feels safe around them. So, if the animal has the option to interact with the stranger, it will automatically feel more comfortable around them. However, if you love cats, you probably won't give them much choice. But, how so? The answer is simple. What do you usually do? Do you approach them thinking about holding them in your arms? Isn't that right? In short, people who love cats tend to get too close to them and practically smother the animal in an attempt to socialize with it, and we know very well that cats don't like that, do they? Sometimes, many people who love cats also bend down to pick up the animal or simply pet it. It turns out that cats don't accept these gestures and probably try to keep their distance from these people. What does it mean to attract cats? In addition to the reason mentioned above, there are also other factors, such as the scent that people emit, in other words, how they smell. Cats have a very strong sense of smell and can identify different scents from long distances. So, if they sense a specific smell of interest coming from someone, they will be attracted to that person. For example, if you smell like a cat's favorite food, the cat will probably come running to you and rub against your legs. What does it mean when cats really like you? Another reason why cats tend to prefer one person over another is that the first person tends to smell like other cats. So, if a cat has marked its territory around your house, there's a chance that the scent has rubbed off on you. You may not even notice it, but a cat can easily detect it. This signals to the cat that you are a friendly person and your behavior is not threatening, which makes the cat friendlier towards you. Similarly, if you have a scent that is easily identifiable, especially one that cats can associate with humans they like, they will be attracted to you quite easily. Why did the cat choose me? Cats choose a person based on their posture and behavior as well. So, cats will be attracted to you if your behavior is friendly and your posture is not threatening. As explained above, getting too close to a cat is a sign of a threat, and cats hate that. Instead, you should always get down to the cat's eye level or lean down to be as close as possible to their eye level. But don't stare into their eyes, because another thing you should know is that cats don't like being stared at in the eyes. This is perceived as a challenge, and if you do it, there's a good chance the cat will run away from you. In short, why do I attract cats? In addition to all these reasons mentioned above, which involve the cat's psyche, there is also one last reason, but no less important, people with a caring nature. A person with a caring and loving nature generally attracts more animals to them, and this applies to all animals. Cats have the ability to sense this, and they may be attracted to kind and loving people. 
However, there is no concrete evidence of this, except in some cases. For example, if a cat believes that you will feed it, it will also be attracted to you. In conclusion, these are just some of the many reasons why cats may be attracted to one person over another. So, if you love cats and want to attract them, the advice is not to get too close to them, as that will only push them away. So, the next time you wonder, why do I attract cats, you may already have the answer by analyzing the current situation.